General Sir George Prevost was a British military commander who served as the Governor General of British North America from 1811 to 1815. He played a pivotal role in the War of 1812 between the United States and Great Britain, leading British forces in several key battles. Prevost was born on May 19, 1767, in New Jersey, USA, and was the son of a British officer. He was educated at the Royal Military Academy in Woolwich, England, and joined the British Army in 1784. Prevost's military career took him to several different parts of the world, including the West Indies, Europe, and Canada. In 1811, Prevost was appointed as the Governor General of British North America and tasked with defending British interests in the region. When war broke out between the United States and Great Britain in 1812, Prevost led British forces in several key battles, including the successful defense of Quebec City against American invasion in 1813. Prevost's military strategy during the War of 1812 was controversial. Some historians have criticized him for not pressing his advantages during battles and for being too cautious in his approach. However, Prevost was praised for his leadership and his ability to rally his troops in the face of adversity. One of Prevost's most significant achievements was his negotiation of the Treaty of Ghent in 1814, which ended the War of 1812. Prevost played a key role in the negotiations, which restored the pre-war boundaries between the United States and Great Britain and established a commission to resolve outstanding boundary disputes. After the war, Prevost returned to England and was made a baronet in recognition of his services. He died on January 5, 1816, at his home in London. In conclusion, General Sir George Prevost was an important military commander and statesman who played a key role in defending British interests in North America during a period of significant conflict. Although his military strategy during the War of 1812 was controversial, Prevost was widely admired for his leadership and his ability to rally his troops in the face of adversity. His legacy as a military leader and public servant continues to be felt in both Canada and the United Kingdom.